The Sunday World have been working undercover here on the Costa, and today we bring you inside the world of the Irish Mafia. He's known as the Dapper Don, the godfather of Irish crime and the head of a criminal cartel believed to be worth more than 500 million euro. Dubliner Christy Kinnahan once called Oliver Bond Flats his home and for years injected heroin into his arms. But today, he's the king of the Costa del Crime, where his family-run gang controlled the exclusive Port of Banus. This is Port of Banus. It's the playground of the rich and famous. It's where the super wealthy come, park up their yachts and enjoy the Mediterranean sun. But everywhere, as far as the eye can see, are boats that are each worth hundreds of millions of euros. Port of Banus is not just a beautiful village in the south coast of Spain. It's also the epicentre of the Costa del Crime. And it's here where the Irish Mafia has established themselves as one of the world's biggest drug cartels. It's been three years since the high-profile arrest of Kinahan and his gang. Then Spanish police staged an early morning raid on the homes of the Irish Mafia and they arrested the Dapper Don, his sons Christopher Jr and Daniel and the veteran Dublin mobster John Cunningham among others. But was this the end of the Kinahan reign or simply a high-profile PR stunt by the Spanish authorities to counter accusations that they were soft on drug traffickers? Costa del Sol is absolutely vast and for decades it's been a mecca for criminals. It started around the 1980s when the British criminals came here because there was no extradition treaty between Spain and the UK. Its proximity to Morocco and other African countries where the drugs are sourced is also the reason they come here. Up in the hills amongst many legitimate owners are the million euro villas of the gangsters and criminals. Along the coast there's an air of lawlessness. Many of the fine houses are perfect hideouts for the wealthiest of wealthy gangsters. Many of them Irish and many of them are armed and dangerous. They have settled here in their droves, the Russians, Colombians, the UK and Irish mobsters and made it a finishing school of sorts for ruthless drug gangs. The proximity of the Spanish coastline to Morocco where cannabis is sourced and its location as an entry point into Europe make it the perfect base for traffickers. A Sunday World investigation has led us right into the heart of this coast and into the world of Christy Kinahan. And here, undercover on the Costa, we found that far from being dismantled, the Kinahan gang are bigger and stronger than ever. In fact, our probe found they have links to some of the best known clubs and bars in Port of Benus and are synonymous with the glittering new Matthew Macklin gym, where we watched mob enforcers and key lieutenants go to work out. On the outside, they are respectable socialites who move in exclusive circles with the cream of Spanish society, football managers and celebrity boxers, but under the surface lies a violent and deadly mob prepared to dispose of anyone and anything that gets in their way. Our special investigation team got closer to the Kinahan mob than ever before. We caught his key enforcers, Gary Finnegan and Kevin Lynch on camera, as they arrived at Macklin's gym to work out as well as other key gang members. We watched as Kinahan himself socialised with associates and snapped him for the first time in his own private world. We visited his 1.3 million euro fortress home, which has never before been seen. And he's not the only member of the mob living it up on the Costa on the spoils of drug money. This is Daniel's home near Estepona. It's a mansion complete with private pool and top of the range security. Vista Golf is the new base for North Inner City drug dealer Gary Hutch and a second home for Daniel, who regularly stays here. And this is a party inside the new pad of Christopher Jr, high in the hills of Benahavis. The luxury home with its pool overlooking the coastline below is one of the best that money can buy. As our team discovered where the Dapper Don is, his thugs are never far away. Kinahan, a master in counter-surveillance, has an army of spotters watching everyone who watches him. During our time on the Costa, we were followed, threatened and photographed. Among the countless murders they have clocked up, the Kinahan gang are suspected of ordering the assassination of drug mules Key Tennis, hitmen Paddy Doyle and Christy Gilroy, and of taking out rival mobsters Eamon the Don Don, and the attempted murder of Peter Fatso Mitchell. On a daily basis, their togs back home threaten, torture and pipe on petty dealers who owe as little as hundreds of euro in debts. Every cent counts for a mob, who live like millionaires in the Costa. Catch our regular instalments on the Irish Costa del Crime and the main players every week in the Sunday World and also at Daily Online at thesundayworld.com.